Okay, so on the back of our notes, we're going to add a few examples that will help us with our day three assignment. So example one, and this is in the form of a fraction. It's the square root of 39, and it's the numerator over a denominator of three. Okay, and let's say I'm asking you to place this on a number line. Okay, well, first thing we need to know is what? What's the decimal value, right? Okay, and then we, whenever we draw our number line, we'll, we'll be able to approximate what whole numbers it's around. So in order to find this decimal, we're going to go ahead and evaluate it in our calculator. Okay, so since it's in fraction form, go ahead and press your fraction button. That's N over D. Okay, then we're going to pr press in the numerator the square root of 39. Remember, for the square root, you press second and X squared. So now we have that root symbol on the top. Go ahead and place in the numbers 39, okay? And then we will move down to the denominator by pressing our arrow key downward and just put in the number three, okay? To come out of this to make sure your fraction looks correct, just press the button sideways. And you see we have the square root of 39 over three, okay? To evaluate that, you would press enter. You see it gives us the same thing back. What type of number is this? Irrational. Okay, go ahead, let's look at the decimal by pressing the double arrow key down here at the bottom. So the decimal is 2.0816 and it continues. So we're going to write equals 2.0816 and it continues. All right, let's draw ourselves a number line for this. So I numbered it one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put a halfway mark in between each one of those whole numbers. So I know that that's like 1.5, 2.5, and so on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and place this on a number line. What values is 2.0816 in between? Okay, so it's in between the two and the three, right? It's gonna be somewhere in here, okay? But because it's a zero in the tens place, is it closer to the two or closer to the three? Two. Closer to the two. Okay, and so we're gonna place it here, just as an estimate. Okay. Um, as a note, we're going to put the how we got the square root of 39 over 3 in our calculator. So we did the fraction button first. Then we pressed second. Then we pressed x squared. Then we put in the 39 by 3 and 9. Then for the denominator, we simply put in the 3 and then we pressed enter to evaluate. We found that it was irrational because it gave us the same value back. So we used our double arrow key to look at that decimal. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more example. So example two, we're gonna look at four root 10. This is not a fourth root. If it were, the four, if it were a fourth root, it would look like the four would be on top of that radical like this. So this is the fourth root. This is just four times the root of 10, okay? To put this into the calculator, you just type it in exactly as it looks. So you're gonna press in a four, then second, x squared, and then underneath that radical, you're gonna put 10. Okay, you're gonna evaluate it by pressing enter. Okay, it gives us the same thing back. What type of number is this? 
irrational. So now let's look at the decimal. Okay, so we have a decimal. We're going to copy that down. 12.6491. And if we put this on a number line, what two numbers is that between? 12 and 13. So 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to put my half marks. So it's between 12 and 13. Which one is it closer to, the 12 or the 13? It's closer to 13 because that 6 is greater than a 5, right? So it's going to be past this 0.5 mark. So this is like 12.5 here, this little mark here. So we're going to go a little past it, and that's going to be 12.6, which is the fourth times the root of 10.